Hi everyone, I want to show you how you can use GitHub without having to put in your username and password all the time. Now I'm logged into the Arch Lab here, one of the School of Computing's provided environments, but this technique should work in your own environment if you care to set it up. So what I have here is a private GitHub repository. This one was created through GitHub Classroom, but this works for any private repository. And let me add that the assignments you do through GitHub, whether they're set up by a professor with like Classroom or just set up by yourself, should really be private so other students can't come in and look at your code without your knowledge or permission. So when you're on the GitHub page, this green box here that says code gives you a magic URL that you use to clone the repository. So I'm going to copy that URL and I'm going to try to do a standard git clone. And what does it do? It asks for my username and password. Now, that doesn't seem too bad, right? So I'll put in my username and password and we get the code. So now let me just make some dumb little change just to have something to check back in. And then we'll do the standard git add, git commit, and a git push. And you go to push and it wants your username and password again. Now, I don't know about you, but I get tired of putting my username and password in every time I want to push my code back up. So here is what you do about that. From your terminal, you run a program called SSH keygen. And we'll make a type RSA. And for the most part, you can just accept the default. We're going to put it in a directory called SSH. You can put a passphrase in if you want. This probably isn't necessary. I'm not going to put one in here. And then what you end up with is if you look in that .ssh directory, you can see two files, idrsa and idrsa.pub. That is your public-private key pair. Now, the IDRSA file is your private key, and you need to make sure that that stays private. It is the keys to the kingdom, so to speak. So you want to make sure nobody else has it or can get at it. You'll notice here that that file does not have any read permissions for anybody but me. The ID, IDRSA pub is the public key. That's what you give to a server when you want it to recognize your attempt to log in using your private key. For example, say Bob wants access to his private repositories on GitHub. He'll use that private key to encrypt a message saying something like, it's Bob, let me in, and then he'll send it to the GitHub server. The server then uses Bob's public key to decrypt the message. I'll show you how GitHub gets your public key in a minute. Because of how public keys and private keys work together, this message from Bob will only make sense if it was in fact sent by Bob. If anybody else tries to send a message saying it's Bob, let me in, once that message goes through Bob's public key, it'll just come out as gibberish. So the fact that GitHub can use the public key to decrypt the message is strong evidence that it's in fact Bob asking for access. And so once GitHub is confident Bob is who he says he is, it gives him access to his content. So it's safe. We can take a look at that. And you can see that it's just a long random string of numbers. I'm not going to show you the private key because, of course, it needs to stay private. So once you have that key, I'm going to copy it so it is in the clipboard. And then I'm going to go back to GitHub. And I'm going to go over to my little icon here. Go down to Settings. Go down to SSH and GPG keys, and then I'm going to add this new key. Now, my account is already set up in other ways. You may or may not have keys listed there already. So I'll call this, I'll give this key a name, and then I will paste the key in. All the text directly from that file, hit add SSH key. I'm surprised it didn't ask me for my password again. Usually when I make a change to my SSH keys, I get a dialogue coming up asking me to reconfirm my password, right? This is just GitHub being a little bit paranoid and making sure that while I was taking a walk to get coffee or whatever, that somebody isn't coming around giving themselves a back door to my, to my GitHub account. So don't be surprised to see that dialogue even though it didn't pop up here. Now, once that's all taken care of, we can go back to that project. And now notice here that this URL is an HTTP URL. 
Once you have a public-private key pair set up, you want to use an SSH URL. So you can just click that Use SSH link there. And then we'll copy this. And so now using this URL, I can come back, do a git clone using the git URL, and I'm able to clone that repo without having to put in a username and password. And better yet, when I go to push my changes, it just pushes it up without bugging me for my username and password again. And this should be true regardless of how you're interacting with Git. So this works from the command line, obviously, but it should also work from within an IDE if you do your Git work from within an IDE. Obviously, this is all set up and should work very easily in our supported environments here. And if you happen to use a Mac, this is just as easy, though same commands that SSH keygen should be installed by default on your Mac, and you will find the relevant files in that same .ssh directory. If you're using Windows, I have no idea. You'll have to talk to somebody that uses Windows. But for those of you who don't mind using the Linux environment, the Grand Valley environment, or have a Mac, this should save you some time and frustration over the next few years. By all means, stop by my office, and I can help you if you have any questions.